Thanks very much, uh, Jim. Well, it's quite obvious from that hat that you certainly never won a blue at Oxford. But, you know, I've got a story that will cap that, and as you say, it's from the Queen's Park Rangers dressing room, and it's about one of their players who's never even played here at this famous old stadium at Wembley. But another member of his family has, and that's something that makes him just a little envious. Julie Bannister is one of England's top hockey stars. She's also the younger sister of Rangers striker Gary. So who better to show him around the famous stadium? Yes, believe it or not, Gary has never seen a game at Wembley, not even since he moved to London from Sheffield Wednesday. Julie, on the other hand, knows the old place like the back of her hockey stick. Two ball for England, and a chance for England now. And England have scored. England have scored. Julie Bannister putting the ball into the net. A fine run by her from the left wing position after intense pressure. Gary, have you ever been envious of the fact that your kid sister beat you here to Wembley? Uh, a little bit, yes. Uh, <clears throat> we used to have a bet when we was younger on who'd get here first. And she's obviously beat me. But I haven't paid up yet. <laughs> what were your feelings when you saw Julie playing here? Perhaps you've seen it on television, if not in real life. Well, she videoed it and I watched the game afterwards, so she did very well, very well indeed. And to score a goal on your debut here at Wembley, and, to, and also to get player of the match was uh, fantastic, really. I just hold back and follow in her footsteps. Obviously, it's, it's such a big occasion here, uh, especially for hockey players, because it's the times and the opportunities to get to play here are so few and far between. Um, it, was just, it was just a fabulous feeling, really. You've never been to a game here at Wembley, have you? Has that been deliberate? Uh, yeah. Not really, because uh, when I was in, a youngster, I supported Coventry City, and I never got here. My idol was Tommy Hutchison on the left wing there, and uh, I never really supported any other teams, so I never had, really had the opportunity to come here to Wembley. Do you think it's going to be a victorious Sunday? Well, I hope so very much. Uh, we've been enjoying a good run the last uh, six or seven games, and uh, we've had four wins couple of draws so if we can carry on that uh, I, I think we've got a very good chance well unlike Jim Rosenthal I'm not going to wear a silly hat but I can tell you in 24 hours time here Wembley Way will be a seething mass of QPR and Oxford supporters all bedecked in their favorite colors one QPR supporter by the way who can't actually be here but who's going to keep in touch with the game is singer Phil Collins maybe it's going to be one more night of triumph for him and his club Who knows, but uh, Greavesy, what about that hat Rosenthal was wearing? Incredible hat, wasn't it? Still didn't cover his nose. Bad luck, Jim. <laughs> Actually, Helmy, Helmy was wrong. Yeah. Jay, Why? Rosenthal did get a blue at Oxford. Oh, did he? And he told me very confidentially that if someone hadn't have jogged his elbow, he'd got the pink and the black as well. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Did you know that Queen's Park Rangers played in the first uh, League Cup final at Wembley? That was in 1967. I did know that. When they played West Bromwich Albion. Yeah, yes. You did know that? Yes. Right. Well, I, <laughs> you've caught me. Uh, you've been uh, reading up on it. Now, as it happened... Uh, well, I heard you in rehearsal. Say <laughs> it. <laughs> OK, we're going to join them, actually. Oh, wait. Oh, good. West Bromwich Albion were 2-0 in the lead. Yes. You know, and then, of course, Rodney Marsh of the Wizard of the Dribble, yes. took a hand in the proceedings. Yes. Rangers took their chance now. Morgan's header was in the net. The equaliser came from brilliant work by Rodney Marsh. Finally, the goal that gave Rangers the cup. Almost on full time, Lazarus had the ball in the net. That's marvellous. Oh, Marky Lazarus. Old school pal of mine, you know. Was it? Yes, incredible. Well, at Borstal. Near enough. <laughs> Very close, Dane. <laughs> Very close. Not, now, last too, week, not too far away from the truth with this show, folks. <laughs> uh, last week we had a competition. Oh, that's uh, right. For yes. two tickets for mm. the Milk Cup final. And we showed you a couple of clips. Well, mm. the first one, action A, was Don Rogers scoring for Swindon in their 3 1 win over Arsenal in the 1969 Georgie League Cup final. Pitch. Bob Wilson in goal. Sorry about that, Bob. <laughs> Oh, man, and the second showed goalkeeper Chris Woods, then of Nottingham Forest, saving a Liverpool attempt in the 1978 League Cup Some final. Your pal Emblem, isn't it? And what a good save it was in all. 
Well, here's our winner, James. It's eight-year-old Paul Magetigan of South Harrow. Now, he gets two VIP tickets for the Milk Cup final. And that should prove a marvellous day out for him. And he's got a message for you, Greasy. Really? Thanks, Jimmy, for the great day out I'm going to have. I'm really glad you're not going to play for us. <laughs> That's nice. I'm glad I'm not either. I'd get knackered going up the tunnel, saying... <laughs> well, it's going to be, a, I think, Jim, a very open game. I think it'll be an entertaining match. Yes, I hope everybody has a lot of fun there tomorrow yeah. because that's what it's all about, isn't it? I'll be with uh, Bench will Jimmy Smith sit on, that's the thing. Straight in the middle, really. I mean, he's got a difficult task, yeah. isn't he? You know, he's built both sides, really, right. except for one player. Uh, obviously, he'll want right. Queen's Park Rangers to win, sure. won't he? Well, sure. I hope so. Yeah, I would think so, yeah. <laughs> Man's but... got a problem if he doesn't. Okay.